Today we are going to learn how to create a long shadow effect in Photoshop in just one minute. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new document. Set the values to 1920 by 1080 pixels, resolution at 300 pixels per inch, and hit create. Now the first thing that we are going to do is create a background. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the adjustment layer and I will add a solid color. And let's choose a light blue color for our background. Now, let's delete this background layer, we don't need this anymore. Now, select the type tool, and I'm just gonna type the word, long. Let's change the text color to white. Next, convert the text layer into a smart object, for a non-destructive workflow. Alright, now I'm gonna make a duplicate of this main text. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Let's rename these layers. This is gonna be our text. And this one will be shadow. Let's hide this text layer for now. And I'm gonna change this shadow color to black, by going to these effects icon, and I will select color overlay. I'm gonna change the color to black color, and then hit OK. Let's unhide this text layer. Next, let's head on to our important step to make a long and soft shadow. Select the shadow layer, and go into the filter menu. Blur gallery, and then path blur. Alright. Once you are in the path blur window, you can see there's a path with two endpoints. I can drag this little handle, and kind of determine the angle of my lighting. And I'm gonna change the path blur type from basic blur to rear sync flash. Here we go, we have got a really nice and realistic long and soft shadow. You can change the angle of the shadow anytime you want. Now let's play around with these sliders. I'm going to increase the speed to about 300%. Set the taper value to 27%. And the last one, decrease the strobe strength all the way to 0%. And click OK. Here we have our long shadow effect. To make it more visible, let's select the shadow layer and duplicate it. Let me show you the good part about this, this text layer is still editable, so I can just double click on this smart object text layer. And I can double click on text, and I can change this word, let's change this word to mind. And now when I save this smart object, you're going to see Photoshop is updating smart objects over in the other document. And what we are going to see when we go back to our original document, we're going to have perfectly updated text and long shadow. Now it's time for bonus tips. What if I want this soft shadow to be more hard and sharp? To do that, we don't need this duplicate shadow layer, so delete this. Now select the shadow layer and go to this layer style icon and add a stroke. Change the stroke color to black and decrease the size all the way down to zero and then hit OK. What if I want to make this shadow a little more longer? Very easy. Because of this shadow layer is also a smart object, we can modify path blur at any time. So just expand the shadow layer and double click on this blur gallery filter. You can change the shadow length by change the speed value. You can also change the shadow angle. And that is how to create a soft and hard, long shadow in Photoshop. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, thank you for watching.